let's compare the Intel's Core i5-6500 with top of the line i7-6700K. So it's a recently launched processor from Intel and both of them belonging to the Skylake processors. So let's see what, what makes them different. Of course, the Core i7-6700K is faster, but to what extent? To know this, the first thing that you need to know is the hyper-threading support for i7-6700K, which makes a difference of close to 15 to 18 percent difference, and given that the same, they have the same clock frequency. The next thing, the clock frequency, it's 3.2 gigahertz versus 4 gigahertz and that's making a significant difference another 10 percent of the difference in their performance third thing the cache memory 6 mb versus 8 mb and that in between these three you expect a 30 to 35 percent more performance with the i7-6700k but that comes at a price difference of 150 dollars 202 dollars for 6500 i5-6500 versus 350 dollars for i7-6700k okay, let's take a look at the some of the past market scores that we have here i5-6500 uh, benchmark and here we go i5-6500 and First, a look at in the meantime. Let's look at i7 6700 case 10,881 versus 7,108, and that is a significant difference at least 37 uh, percent performance difference. But if you have the money in your pocket, I will say go with i7 6700 k you get a blazing fast processor, top of the line. Of course, it's not as great compared to the Haswell. You were expecting that. Skylake is going to make some significant improvement, but that didn't happen. But still, we have a nice, decent DDR4, which is not great, but it's about the same performance as the DDR3 at lower um, power. It takes only 1.2 volt to work. DDR3, they take 1.5 volt and they take more power. I hope this helps you to understand the difference between 6 i5-6500 and i7-6700k in a nutshell you get 37 to 38 percent per more performance and you pay 202 dollars versus 350 dollars thanks for taking a look